Next we're going to be showing you just different ways to work with crinoline, just a few basic ways that you can use it. So first of all, when starting off using crinoline, it frays very easily. I'm going to show you from the other end. You can just see how easily it can fray and also how easily it can pull and warp on you. And then it's very difficult to get it back to its original shape, which means that it's very easily damaged. So you just need to be very sure about what you're doing with your crinoline before you start and just be very gentle with it and not to be tugging on it or pulling on it because you will warp and ruin the shape of it. So I think the best thing to do is when you're starting with your crinoline is to bring your two ends together. And just get your needle and treads. I'm using white just so you can see the stitching. Just to bring it straight through and wrap it round a few times and straight through again below where the treads are and pull. You're just securing your crinoline at the end so it can't fray and it won't go anywhere on you and it also just makes it that little bit sturdier before you start any of your pieces or your shapes that you want to do. We have a YouTube video already up showing you how to do something like this. I'm just going to very briefly show you a few different ways to work with crinoline. One of the first ways is pleating your crinoline which means you bring it onto your base, secure it by stitching it through And then we're just going to work the crinoline around by pleating it. So the main thing to create a circular shape like this is that you repeat the same process throughout the entire way. So if you start by doing a one centimetre pleat, you need to then stitch that on, secure it on. Don't worry about your stitching at this point because none of this will be seen because it will all be covered at the very end by whatever you put into the centre of your piece. The second thing you're going to do then is you're going to repeat the exact same process using the exact same width and measuring it the same so that you create a second pleat, the same width as well and again bring your needle and tread up and through and secure it down. As long as you keep repeating that same process the entire way around until you get to the end then your, your piece will form a circular shape and it will all stand level with it because you repeated the exact same process the entire way around. It'll keep on taking shape like this and all of that will be stitched down and secured. And you can see the shape already starting to happen with the crinoline where it's starting to circle and it'll keep on doing the entire form the entire way around. That's one of the ways to work with crinoline. 